holidaymakers. The rain we promised is on its way in. You can see it showing up on the Scottish radar. Up to the northwest of Scotland, the brighter colours, in, they show up the heavier and more persistent terrain. Now, the reason for that rain is this cold front, and it's going to work its way down across the British Isles during the second half of the week. And by the weekend, we're going to find ourselves in a run of rather chilly northerly winds. So the cooler air coming in behind the cold front, uh, eventually working its way southwards, and then by Saturday and Sunday we'll find some decidedly cold air over Scotland. But back to this evening, and that more persistent and at times heavy rain will get into northern Scotland, eventually working its way down the western side. For Northern Ireland and for England and Wales it should stay dry, still some sunshine in the south of England, and a bit of brightness lingering into the evening on the eastern side of the Pennines. Now tonight, eventually the rain will get into Northern Ireland and down across southern Scotland with a little bit of mist and drizzle around these western coasts of England and Wales. But for the bulk of England and Wales, it'll stay dry and underneath the clearer slots, there could be a little bit of mist and fog around, but it will be short-lived. Along with the wet weather, some windy weather as well up in Scotland, where we could find the winds touching gale force at times in the more exposed places. Now tomorrow, eventually, the rain will work its way down into northern England and North Wales. That'll be fairly late on in the day. For much of Northern Ireland and Scotland, it's going to turn out to be a rather dull, wet and windy day. But eventually the rain will start to peter out late in the day in the north. For much of uh, England and Wales, still some brightness, some sunshine around. But I think the winds are going to make a difference tomorrow. They'll be strengthening from a west to southwesterly direction as that rain makes its way southwards. And I think they'll make it feel decidedly cooler along the south coast. Now that's uh, a look at tomorrow's weather once again. The temperatures shown in there, inland away from the south coast, up to 20 or 21 degrees in the sunshine, but a bit cooler up in the wet and windy north. On Friday, the rain eventually makes it into the south, with showery weather coming along behind, and some of those showers could turn out to be heavy and thundery. And as it turns colder over Scotland through the weekend, yes, we could even see some sleet and snow 